In this video, we're going to add jQuery library to our project. With the help of jQuery library, we can uh, do some complex functionality much, much easier. For example, we will use jQuery library to read the request parameters from the URL, and we will use jQuery library to send the HTTP request to our RESTful API. And doing it is much easier if we use a ready-to-use library for that. Okay, so to add jQuery library to our project, I will open a browser window and I will look for Google hosted libraries. jQuery comes as a library and you can either download it from jQuery.com and add it to your project or you can link to it uh, using projects like Google hosted libraries, for example. If I click on it, on the right side here, I have different libraries which I can link to in my project and I don't have to download them and ship with my project. So I will click on jQuery and uh, here we have three different versions. I will pick the third one, jQuery 3.3 minimized version. It's a very light file which has been minimized and it's safe to add it to your project. So I'll go back to my Spring Tool Suite and somewhere between the opening and the closing head tag I will add this library. Let me add it right before the head tag closes here. And this is all I needed to do. I will now save this file and I can run it and jQuery will be available to my HTML page. Now after the script tag and before the ending head tag, I can add script and here I can either provide the language equals JavaScript or now it's no longer required. Within this script tag, I can start adding a regular JavaScript or jQuery. Okay, so uh, let's save this page now and continue to the next video where we're going to add the main business logic of our save new password functionality.